What's going on, guys? Welcome to another Against All Odds podcast today. I'm with Janu, so let's roll the intro and then get right into it. Nice to meet you guys. <laughs> My name is Janu Silva. Uh, I'm from Portugal. I'm 27 years old. Uh, it's my first time here in the US, and I was invited to join Matt Sheldon in this podcast. Good. And and Johnu, your first language por- is Portuguese. Yes, my and main then, language is Portuguese. And what do you speak any other languages? Yes, I speak French, Portuguese, uh, Spanish, uh, Creole. That is a um, like a dialect from uh, Guinea-Bissau, my origin origin country, where mm-hmm. my my, far, where my parents are from. And I also speak a little bit of Italian, some words, not that much, but yeah, I can understand. And obviously English too. English, yeah. I think I'm learning better. But yeah. You're learning it. Yeah. It's already really good. I would say like I'm learning. Yeah, I don't want to say I talk a lot, but I, I'm I think I think honestly it's like a nine out of ten for English. Yeah, I'm fighting. Too. <laughs> That's yeah. good. That's crazy. Yeah. And so, first of all, I think I just said it before we started. I think it's crazy how you're going to be able to do a full podcast in English, yes. like. That's uh, it's really that's a, chan- a challenge for me, but I can I can handle. Yeah, I like challenge. It's good because I mean, like I, I can't even think. Like I took twelve years of Spanish, and I can't even think of doing a podcast in Spanish. Oh, if you want to do a podcast in Spanish for me, it'll be like oh, my own language. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's awesome. That's, that's sick, though. That's All right. Awesome. Um. So so first of all. Born in which city in Portugal were you born in? So, I was born in Cascais. It's a city that is near to the capital, mm-hmm. uh, to Lisbon, like 10 to 20 minutes by car. And it's a huge city. It's one of the beautiful cities in, uh, in Portugal, uh, close to the sea, because Portugal is like all of the country is like close to the, the sea. Mm-hmm. Uh, and yeah, basically, I'm from the best city in Cascais, in Portugal. It's <laughs> Cascais? Is Cascais, that? yeah, Cascais. It's Cascais. It, uh, they ca- my city, uh, people call it the, the city of the celebr- celebrities. So that was a, that's, that's why I was born there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, and then so you said 10 to 20 minutes outside of, of Lisbon. Lisbon. Yeah, it's still, it's still in Lisbon, but like on... Uh, Mar- Out, just the outskirts? Yeah, Mar- uh, you say West, yeah, West Coast. Yeah, West Coast okay. of Lisbon. That's sick. Yeah. And then so right on the beach? Yeah, right on the beach. So uh, I'm used to live like five minutes from the beach. Uh, so you can imagine. Yeah. And then how, okay, so Portugal, how long does it take to drive? Because I've been, I haven't never been in Portugal. How long does it take to drive from like one side to the other and top to bottom? So from the top, you have like Porto, Guarda, the, the cities on the top. Mm-hmm. From Porto until the the most south city, yeah. that is Algarve, you're driving like four hours and a half. Okay. Uh, and from Lisbon to the south, three hours. So Portugal, it depends. From the top to to the south, you take like four hours. But uh-huh. if you do like from Lisbon to the the south, three hours. Okay. Uh, yeah, so it depends. And and how long yeah. is it to go from like the the coast to the to Spain, to Spain to the coast of Spain? Yeah. Two hours from my two hours and a half from my house to Spain. Oh so wow, like, yes, it's, it's small. It's really yeah, small. Yeah, it's different. It's different. Because I have it in my head, but I, since I've never been there and never like traveled, I, it's hard for me to get like the dimensions of it. So you can't you can't imagine me. You say that from here, Tulsa, where you are at this point, yeah. uh, it's like one hour and a half to Oklahoma City. Yeah. If I drive two more, one more hour, mm-hmm. I'm like in Spain, if I make the comparison yeah. between Portugal and, and US, so it's can another you, reality. Can you speak uh, Catalan at all? Catalan, no. Catalan is difficult. It's hard, huh? No, Catalan is hard. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because I, I, I feel like I can read and understand a lot of Spanish when I was over there. Like Catalan, I felt like... You can get an idea, but it's still it's so, confusing. So you can see Portuguese people, they, mm-hmm. they can speak Spanish. But to speak the Catalan is different. It's like, uh, it's not even it's like related a, with Portuguese. It's a different <laughs> language. I can't even... It's like, is it like, yeah, it's, it's confusing. It's only Messi can speak. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, okay, so you're born in Cas- Cascais. Yeah, Cascais. Ca- Cascais. Yeah, Cascais. <laughs> um, and so were you... Like had a ball at your feet. Were you always playing soccer, even from a young age? Wow. Yes. You know, in Europe, uh, the main sport is, is soccer. Mm-hmm. The reality is, that all of the kids when they they raise, they raise with the ball. Uh, now you have the PlayStation Four, <laughs> FIFA, Pash. But at the young age, ages, I was only always on my field. My mother uh, raised. So my family is like three three brothers and mm-hmm. three sisters. The, the sisters they are all uh, older, and we are. 
basically into the sports and we all play soccer my, my friends from the childhood they uh -huh. play soccer so I used to hang out from on my weekends if I can remember it's all about soccer yeah the, all day all that's day. good and even sometimes I skip some lunches and some some meals and my mother <laughs> say hey Janu Janu come on come on <laughs> yeah but I like so yeah. you just played soccer all day yeah. whenever you could yeah soccer 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 and sports because uh, I played other sports besides uh, soccer mm -hmm. like, Uh, during my my youth ages, I play rugby. Uh, that is the sport, but the main sport of my brother. Yeah. Uh, yeah his name is Luis. Yeah, he plays for Belenenses. It's one of the the best teams uh, in Portugal. Mm -hmm. He plays rugby. So yeah. You show me a picture of him. He's the beast. He's, 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 the, beast. he's the beast. He's the beast. <laughs> and I have another brother that is the holder. Uh -huh. uh, he used to play basketball, but you know, basketball in uh, in in Europe is different. It's, it's not that used as in US. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I was born with the ball, and I just ride my 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 life with the ball. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah. Um. And did uh did your other brothers? Do you have any brothers? Because you said they like you know play basketball and rugby, but do they play soccer as well? Yeah, soccer is the main sport. Even the my brother that plays rugby, he mm -hmm. knows how to play soccer because it's like you've been born in in US and you don't know how to dribble a ball yeah, <laughs> like basketball. Yeah. So the comparison <laughs> is that. So our main sport is soccer, soccer, soccer. Yeah. During the school, when you have a break, soccer. 10 minutes of soccer. You know? did, did your sisters play any sports? My sister did swim, swim. Uh -huh. so, uh, but the others, the, the two older, they, they didn't. They okay. Were, uh, yeah, they just. So that's a, you have a big family, huh? Yeah, six. Is, ev is, is everybody still over in Portugal right now? No, no. Actually, I have a, I have a sister in Guinea Bissau. Uh -huh. the, and the other one, she's uh, in Spain. Yeah, in Spain. She lives in Granada. Okay. Uh, and the other one, she was in France, but now she's back, she's back home. She lives in the, with us there, back in Cascais, the best city. Cascais, <laughs> yeah. I, I want to go over and visit so bad. Yeah, you need you, you need to. I think you fall in love for the city. Yeah, yeah. Because I, I love the beach. I love the so ocean. So Jeff Jeff and I, yeah. our teammate, he, he went there and he said that this is like almost his dream country. Mm -hmm. <laughs> almost? Why was yeah. it almost? What? I don't know why he said almost. But he he said, it, okay. He's not sure probably. Is it because they don't speak English and he had trouble speaking? No, they, sp they speak English. Yeah. Everybody speaks Actually, English. the Portuguese people, they speak a lot of They are very clever with language. Mm -hmm. Well, obviously, you can speak like six different languages. Yeah, yeah, but still, <laughs> but uh, one thing I noticed with tourism, uh -huh. we are like huge. Every, I think even the old, the old, the old people, they, they speak English yeah. Like easily. Yeah, yeah. Ah, that's, At that's least some words. Hello? Hello? Yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. Um, so that's, that's awesome. So big family, athletic family, you guys all played sports, did some yeah. stuff, played along. Um, So when did you when you were playing at recess and all that stuff? Did you just have like a like one of those courts in Portugal or Germany? I would always see that have like the cage around it. That's like yes. a hard top. Yeah. It's like futsal almost yes. five aside. Yes, five 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 against five. Uh -huh. We say like the afternoon with my 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 friends, like playing uh, two goals mm -hmm. or seven minutes. Okay. So it was very competitive. Uh, so we play like during the weekend. It's like. Four teams, five teams, and rolling, rolling, rolling during during the, the afternoon. We make a break. We take some lunch. We go buy some some juice. Yeah. Recover some energies, and after we back again. So we say like, the I can say the the weekends because the weekends is like, on the court playing, 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 playing all day long. Just all day long. Five aside. And just having fun, you know, because yeah. uh, I don't I don't came from rich families, mm -hmm. so we don't have like the PlayStation and all of the video games, so. What's better than play soccer? Yeah. yeah, 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 and you can go out and meet new people because there is always coming new pl new new players. Mm -hmm. That's good. That's good. That's awesome. Yeah, um, uh, yeah, because I love those. Right, everywhere I went around Europe, there's those little courts. That? Like, that? what do you call those? What do you call those? In We call ring, 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 ring. Yeah, I can't do that. Ring, ring, ring. Yeah, we call ring, uh, and we gave to my to my to my court my ring. Uh -huh. We call it FM Stadium. <laughs> so every time we have a game, uh -huh. they they send message between them uh -huh. saying that FM Stadium. If, FM you, stadium. If, you, if you have if you have skills, <laughs> come on Saturday, <laughs> and, <laughs> Saturday and Sunday, and just let's play. And people appear like a lot of people. Like sometimes we have like five teams, uh -huh. and we don't have space to put more more teams because uh, if you lose a game, you stay like 28 minutes outside of yeah. the game. So we try to manage like five teams, five six teams, and. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's good. That's awesome. Good. Yeah, awesome, awesome. Um, how long did you... So that was just like pick up. You weren't on like a real team. When did you get on like your first like outdoor team, like club team? Club team. So basically, I was... For, I, was, I, was I did my youth in, uh, in Portugal. Uh, I started playing, you know, until my age of 10, 
I was playing soccer, mm-hmm. but uh, soccer, no, football. Yeah, so football, because football is always better. Yeah, you can call it football. Yeah, yeah. I'm in America, so they call, <laughs> they call soccer. That's why I'm, I, I changed my word now. <laughs> is it weird yeah. to say soccer? Yeah, the first, the yeah. first, the first month here was very weird because they were saying soccer, and I was like, I was saying football, and I, oh no, they say football is mm-hmm. American football. No, no, for me it's football. Um, yeah, basically, I start like I was playing at the age of ten, and I was like playing a lot of sports at mm-hmm. the same time, basketball at school. Uh, I was doing tennis in uh, in a place that I go after school mm-hmm. uh, with them. I was doing also swim, so I was like trying to get in touch with all of the, all, of the, all of the sports. Mm-hmm. And I was I was doing good because when you're young, you yeah energy for do like three four sports. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you can all do all day long. All day long, and you don't don't feel any t- any kind of tiredness. Yeah. Uh, and at just ten, I start playing playing, mm-hmm. and with thirteen, I travel to France. Okay. So I started only playing soccer. I traveled to France with my family. We moved all to Le Havre. It's like the nor- Normandy. It's okay. like the north part of, of France. Uh, and I got a team there. I was studying. I was doing everything. So my dream starts with that at the age of 30. Okay. Really. Why early. did your family move to... Uh, I can't even pronounce that place. I, I can't, uh, uh, Le Havre. Le Havre. Le Havre. Le Havre. It, it's Le, a team. Le Havre. There's a team. The, the name is Le Havre. Uh, it's a team of second division in uh, in France. Okay. So I moved there, and I was playing. My m- my mother decided that we. we I, I'm from immigrants, so mm-hmm. my orange country is Guinea. I was born in Portugal, but we we traveled to France to try another thing. My uh-huh. mother has a plan for us, and my okay. mother says, "The mom says, yeah. Go, yeah. You just as a kid, you just yeah. follow your parents. You just follow your yeah. parents. Yeah. Okay. And you were you were there like. Could you speak French before you moved there? I'll tell you the truth. No, really, I wasn't in school. I wasn't that cute in French. <laughs> <laughs> so could could your mom speak? Could anybody speak French? How did you? No, no. I have a uncle. I had a uncle there, so oh, okay. that's why you move. So you move, uh, trusting my 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 uncle, mm-hmm. and we were le- were there for a year. So I was playing. I was I was doing good. Mm-hmm. So my my dream starts to to grow and to dream about soccer. I already had, but. I had a team in France. It was a different rea- reality because in Portugal I was like a defender. Mm-hmm. Really? Yeah. At the age of ten, I was like unsure, and I was moving to midfielder in France, to number eight, number ten, and I moved into strike <laughs> when I when I went back to Portugal. So you so, slowly moved your way up. Yes, because I like to score goals. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, uh-huh. it's my vet vitamin. <laughs> my vitamin. Uh, yeah, and I was playing there. Uh-huh. I was playing there for for a year, and after this year. Uh, my mother decided to, we need to go back because it's better for me because of the school. Mm-hmm. And we all moved again to Portugal. And when I went to Portugal, I signed with a team uh, in Cascais, in the center of Cascais, that the name is Torre. Uh, after being there like four months, I was playing at the age of 14, I was playing with the under 16. Oh, national team? No, no, a team, oh, like, okay. a team uh, of, the, of this club. Uh-huh. And after like four months, Sporting called me and scout me. I was like, wow, really? This Which is huge. Yeah, it's huge. Yeah. Because Sporting, everyone wants to go to Sporting, Benfica and Porto. It's the main teams. Yeah. And now we have Braga, but uh, at that time it was like the three main teams. And yeah, I, after that I went to do some tests over there. And I stayed three months testing with them. Mm-hmm. And I, I didn't get it. I went to Sturil, that is also a good team. It's the best team in Cascais, uh-huh. in my city. <coughs> and I stay like in Sturil, like for my youth until 19. Okay. 19, yeah. 19. Okay, so you were just in France for a year and then you went back to Portugal? How? Yes, yes. Oh, I skipped Spain because I, before. You skipped Spain? Yes, yeah, I skipped Spain. <laughs> All right, so, so you went to France for a France, year? France, a year. Uh-huh. And I stayed like for four months, four months in Spain b- before coming back to, to Portugal. Well, why'd you go to Spain before? You came back to Portugal because uh, the year was okay, already gone, uh-huh. and my mother says that we don't need to go n- right now to to Portugal, so we can stay. We can go to Spain. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, we, we went there because my my auntie she was there, and we stay with my family. Okay. Yeah. So you just have some family members like in yeah, France. Yeah, I'm Spain. from. I, yeah, I'm, we are immigrants. Yeah. yeah it, it, it. So did, was your mom? Was she born in Guinea? Or? Yeah, my mother she was she was born in Guinea. In, okay. In a interior part like. Uh, the name is Cayo. <laughs> when did she come over to Portugal? At this point, 32 years ago. Wow. Yeah. Okay. It's the age of my my third sister. Yeah. Okay. So she she came like 32 years ago and she never went back. So. Wow. 
It's one of my dreams. To go back? Go back with her. That, that'd be really yeah, cool. Yeah, that would be good. Yeah. Good, good. Wow, that, that's really cool. Yeah, yeah, 32 um, years. Yeah, to take her back home. <laughs> Dang, 32 yeah. years. Okay, that's longer than we've ever, like, we've been alive. So I'm 27, you see? Yeah. My mother is in Portugal she, more than my age, so yeah. for me, it's like, it will be like a goal to reach. Uh -huh. I'll reach for sure. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, so then when you went back to Portugal, you said that you got a trial with uh, Sporting Lisbon. Uh, how did, did they just, did they scout you? Did they, how did they see you? Yeah, you know the the one that discovered Cristiano Ronaldo? Mm -hmm. Was the guy that, that, uh, that scouted me. Really? Yeah, he went for a game in Cascais, I don't know why. I think a coach called him or something because we were playing there. Mm -hmm. And after the game, uh, against, I think, it was Bolognese, it was a friendly game against the team. And the coach called me, me and a friend that, uh, his name is uh, Ricardo Riquicho. Pica, he was a huge midfielder, yeah, and he, he was also my age, and we were both playing on the level level up. Okay, uh, they called us to a room, and the man was there, and we recognized the man. I was like, ah, oh. I couldn't even speak <laughs> because I know, I know, we yeah. the, the stories of Cristiano. Wow, well, yeah, and yeah, that's that's how they scout. They scout, they scout, uh, the scout, the in Portugal is very, very good. So, uh -huh. Yeah, if you're doing it like four months or five. Someone will talk to you for sure. Mm -hmm. Well, it's like a compact country, like yeah, yeah. People can't it's not that anything. huge, you know. Yeah. So everything goes by month by month, you know. Mm -hmm. It's easy to the information circulate. Wow! So the guy yeah. that scouted Cristiano Ronaldo scouted, yeah, so scouted sorry. me. Uh -huh. And after that, I didn't make in sporting. It was him that sent that says to talk to to Israel, That uh -huh. is also a good team, and they were playing the first division of under 18s. So they will play against Sporting and Benfica. He was the one who advised us to who advised us with him, who say like you can go to Surreal because everything is hard for you mm -hmm. and for your friends and we move, we both moved. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, after the when the trial at Sporting Lisbon didn't go very well, did like were you feeling down? Like, how'd you feel? No, I wasn't feeling down at all uh -huh. because I still I feel like I have capacities, you know. Mm -hmm. So at that, at that point I was so young, I was fourteen. I was dreaming, you know. Yeah. And when we were dreaming. It was, it was my first contact, you know, with sporting. I never thought I would go there, you know, mm -hmm. so far. And for me, it was good because it's like, wow, I went to the to their academy and I never been in a lot of condition like them, you know. Yeah. I have a small club, I, I was from a small club and I saw like, wow, this is really where I want to go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I want to go to this, this way, you know, and yeah. That's cool. So I, like, I didn't feel like bad, like, ah, oh, I didn't make it. I yeah. make you it. just saw it as like, wow, like, uh, this is what you want to do. Yeah, like, this yeah. is like, I want to get there. I want to be yeah. at the it's level. It's the first contact with the level, you know, mm -hmm. because I was playing in the lower division. And I went to there, and it's like, ballers, real ballers, yeah, yeah ballers playing kids at, at the age of 14 with a maturity, like, yeah. huge. And yeah, after that, I didn't make it. I went to Surreal, mm -hmm. that, they, that is also a team in better division than mine. Mm -hmm. But um, they they were playing the same division as Sporting and Benfica, so it was good for me. Yeah. It was good for yeah. All of the process was good for me. Okay. Um, when you're with these youth academies, like how, how many days a week did you train? Uh, so at that time it was four, four times, mm -hmm. Tuesday to Friday. And we play Saturday or Sunday. Okay. Okay, four. But now I think now now I think probably in these days the kids they, they practice five five, five times a week. Uh -huh. It's more professional. They they practice five. One day is for recovery, mm -hmm. uh, so they include the recovery. So it's like five. Yeah. Okay. Days. That's um, so much. Like when I was growing up, you know, my club team even up until eighteen years old, we trained twice a week. Only. Yeah. Wow. That's a, I mean, that's the problem. Yeah, know? that's nothing because you need to repetition. I mean, I would do stuff on my own, like play all the time. Yeah, like, but you, like, are, you are my child. <laughs> <laughs> but like, that's like, imagine like, I wish I would have played five days a week, you know, four days, even four days a week. It's, it makes a difference it because, is, so yeah. you, you can see, at the other team I, where I was, mm -hmm. I practiced like three times. So I moved to another one, I was practicing four. Mm -hmm. And the developer was like... Yeah, you developed you, way different, more. Different, different, different. Yeah. The rhythm might be different. Um, and then did you do? Did you keep on playing in the what you call the stadium, the the the, the little cage, the, the thing? thing yeah. Oh, you still always, do that all the time always, too. Always. We weren't allowed because uh, the, so I play one of the days of the weekend, uh -huh. and when you are young, you think you go. Imagine you do the entire week with the team, yeah, and you have the Saturday before the game, 
and you have a friend, the friends playing, you are watching like this, you know, yeah. <laughs> watching your friend playing. You say, yeah, I can, I can, I can. But there was a few times that, that yeah. And you would kind of slip in yeah, there and no, play dude, a little bit. I go, I go, I go, I go as a goalie, as a goalie, as a goalie. And yeah. I start as a goalie like ten minutes, and I'm, I'm already, I'm already there. So. Yeah. I mean, that's a problem. I couldn't. I, even now, like, could you imagine? Like, I, I would still want to play. Like, it's yes, the hardest thing yes. to do is to watch. This was one of the things I learned with the time. Yeah. When I was growing up, I start, I stopped doing that. You know, mm-hmm. because it's not. A benefit sometimes because you are you you are doing the like a micro, micro cycle uh-huh. of effort, and if you go on Saturday and imagine you get injured or something, and yeah. next day you have yeah, the yeah. game. So how are we gonna explain to the team? So yeah. I learned that with the time, but before when I was young, <laughs> you just play. Yeah, just but like that's play. also like kids. Like I mean, kids can just play all day long, all, every day, and they they're not gonna get like. I don't want to say they won't get hurt, but they, they are less likely to pull a hamstring or do something than yes. like older guy. I mean, once you get older and you're doing it at a higher intensity, you have more and more things. Yeah, it, it happens easier. Yeah, because uh, I've seen my friends. We are used to play a lot and no injuries, yeah. anything. Ever, never. I yeah. think <laughs> I, don't, I didn't know what is an injury until my 16, 17, You know, same. Yeah, around yeah. that, and after that. You have small things, a twist, the twist something. Uh, mm-hmm. You feel some some pain here and the muscle, but before. it's it's gone in a week. Yeah, before I don't know why. <laughs> but now once you're in your 27, 26. Yeah, it's, it's, different. it's 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 different. Um, so yeah, so that's okay. That's awesome. You're just playing soccer all your life, playing mm-hmm. in the ring, playing uh, playing with the clubs, great clubs. Uh, Same bed, yeah. Ring, <laughs> ring, uh, yeah, ring. Uh, ring. <laughs> it's hard. Uh, so when did you did you get any like first team training with the first team of your club? Did you play? Yeah. Out? So, um, so that's the that's that's the part where the things change a bit. Okay. Because uh, I was doing it to surreal, mm-hmm. and at the age of nine, eight, eighteen to nineteen, is the year that you turn to the professional. Team. Yeah. So during the the all season of under eighteen, I was I was going to the first team. Uh-huh. We were like five. Selected all of the week. Uh, that's where, where I met a lot of players. Uh, so now I have a friends uh, playing for Champions League that I met on this time. Wow. Uh, that time I'll say the names after. <laughs> <laughs> I'll say the names. Uh-huh. Um, and I was like everything was like going good. The championship and we went three at the end of the season. Mm-hmm. In twenty on twenty fourth players of the squad, only three make the first team to go. Okay, it was me and two other friends. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was. Like, we make it to the last month of their of their season, so we joined them. Uh-huh. We were practicing every day, so the the youths, most of the, the players quit from soccer. They follow other 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 things, and I was, in the next month, like working with the senior team, tra- believing, oh, I'll be professional, yeah. professional, everything. And at the end of the season, uh, there is a, a huge coach that I will say the name you 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 love uh-huh. um, the coach of Watford Marco Silva really he was performing with me he was he was he was a part of the team uh, in Israel wow when I turned to to the senior team uh-huh. and we were like everything good I scored a, a huge goal in a competition that we won the it's like a t- it's like a competition between the second league and the first league. So uh-huh. I scored my first goal with the senior team. I thought, wow, wow. this is the year I will sign my country. I, yeah. sign. I changed my life, like you know the dream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Professional, change my life. Everything <laughs> like good, you know. Um, and after the season end, we meet with the the, the guys of the, the direction, and they say, hey, you know, uh, and the Janu, Pika, and, uh, and Leandro, uh, everything is ours. So we contact you after to to say. Uh, we're gonna make the pre-season and everything. So I didn't move, so I was like waiting. Uh-huh. It was like three weeks to the pre-season. It was short, the the break. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I was sitting in my house, like the draft, <laughs> waiting yeah. for waiting for a call and yeah. everything. And the call that they gave me was like bad, you know. It was like so. It was true what they said, you know. Mm-hmm. But I I wasn't I didn't understand it at all. Uh, they said like. So they will not stay with any striker. So the only striker that they, they, they stay with was Tony Taylor. Mm-hmm. Uh, that he, he was playing here in the US in uh, New York. New York. Cosmos? No, no. The blue team. Uh, oh, NYFC, New York. New York yeah, City. New York FC. Yeah, yeah New, York, New York FC with David Villa. He was yeah. playing there. Wow, okay. So they stay with, with Tony Taylor. 
but even Tony Taylor was loaned to uh-huh. a team. Uh, uh, so the, the forwards, they all gone because the season was good. Mm-hmm. And they said, we're going to sign you because we're going to make a new project. So we're not involved. And the lucky thing was my two friends, they stayed, you know. I was so happy for oh, them. Yeah. It was a mix of sentiment, of feelings. Uh, about them. Yeah. Oh, I'm already talking about you. <laughs> uh, yeah, so... Um, yeah, so it was. I was happy for my friends, mm-hmm. but I was sad for me, you know. Because there's three of you, yeah, and just because they wanted to go with a different direction with the forwards, the strikers. Yeah, it you, was a unlucky. political thing. It wasn't lucky. It wasn't lucky. Yeah. So, that and point, I've been there. I've been in that point where it's like, it's hard because you're so happy for somebody else, you're so happy yeah. for the team, but you you get cut or you get rejected or something. It yeah, sucks. yeah, it's, it is, it is. And I was like, wow. Yeah. Nah. I was like, no, how quick? I, will, I already said, like, oh, how quick? I, I don't want to play more soccer. So at this point, you were really thinking about, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stop. No. Oh, you were? Now? No, no, no. Yes, I, I was like, oh, you no, were. I'm not playing more, uh-huh. more, more soccer. Now, school. Yeah. I said school. My mother, you know, my mother. Right? Your mom was happy. School! <laughs> hey! It's school. My, for me, was a bit of frustration, you know? Uh-huh. Uh, because... I always say that I want to be graduated, everything. This is one of my goals, mm-hmm. and I achieved it like uh, two years ago. But um, I was like, oh, how quick from soccer? I want to play soccer. I don't want to hear any of that. So I stayed like, so this was in July. Mm-hmm. I stayed from July until half of uh, the first 10 days of September uh-huh. without playing, without doing anything. Mm-hmm. The summer was like, Always like hang out with my friends. I, did, I I don't even like want to touch a ball. Uh huh. Yeah. I Just w- get it out of your mind. Everything out of, out of my mind. Clean my mind. You know. Yeah. But at a certain point, I need it. You know. I need it just to do the break and yes, let's, let's, let's just think about the next step. You know. Mm-hmm. Uh, it was like a diff a difficult period for me. Yeah. Yeah. My, but my friends they supported me a lot. So that's that. At that point, I got, I got a lot of friends. You know, friends that were close to me, they know that I had the dream and they were supporting me, so props for my friends. Uh-huh. Uh, they know they know who they are, so uh-huh. they were like amazing. And after that, I had a coach that now um, is the assistant coach of South Korea. Wow, yeah. okay. His name is Philippe Coelho. I'm uh-huh. gonna send props for, props for him uh-huh. because uh, I think no one knows, but uh, he has a huge influence in my, in my career because at that point, I was like, no, I'll not play soccer, I'll do anything. And the coach was was coaching a team of lower divisions in mm-hmm. Tashkaj. Um, and he called me, he reached me, he went to my house. Uh, I went down and, and he was talking to me, hey, kid, you can't quit, you can't quit. You took a lot of years of your life, you have quality. I was like, no, coach, no. I was, I was barely like, no, I don't want, I don't want. Yeah. And I was like, well, I'll go from the youth first division to the um, to the lower division in Kashkai. Mm-hmm. yeah sometimes you, i did that i did that i was like i was like no i'll not go yeah i didn't look as a process as a process i was like no i'll not go coach i'll not go and he talked to me he convinced me he said so you can go he did he did a trick to me he was like <laughs> you go you try if you don't like yeah you come back but you uh-huh. know when you like soccer you yeah know? then you have fun <laughs> <laughs> yeah i went there i went there like one week and I was with rhythm, you know. Even mm-hmm. the, the four weeks of break, I was like in, in good shape. Mm-hmm. You know, after the break, I was like, coach, I'm not tired. <laughs> <laughs> you know, after the session, uh-huh. and he was like, what? And he increased the the fitness of the team uh-huh. during the the, 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 the the next weeks because of the thing I said. Oh, yeah. Yeah, increased, increased a lot. <laughs> yeah, so uh-huh. after that, I was feeling tired. But yeah, I signed with the team. I signed uh-huh. with the team. It was... Uh, considering the five division in Portugal, uh-huh. a division. And uh, this year I performed, I scored 19 goals. <sighs> yeah, because he gave me all of the confidence, you know, mm-hmm. all of the confidence back. And before, when, it, when I signed, he said, I'll put you performing and after I'll take you to another club. Mm-hmm. This was the agreement between me and him. And yeah, I did good. Uh, so when you were there, did was he pay, like were you being paid there? No, zero. Uh, zero. So it's am- amateur. At fifth, fifth. I can tell you. I can tell you. It's, it's a funny thing, but this is amazing to to say. Uh-huh. Uh, it was 
by points. So we have goals, they mm. set their targets. So if we win the game, we win like a, a bonus. Boom. Mm. You know? All it bonuses. Was bonus, 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 yeah. bonus. You know? Because that's, that's where it's a lot. In, it in wasn't Europe. the salary, but it was, was bonus. Yeah. yeah it was Because they do that a lot in Europe. It's like in Germany, yes, it was like yes, that. Yes, like yes. I had my contract, but I, there would be months where I'd make more money from my bonuses yes, than my contract. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Um, and so at that season, you probably completely fell like in love with soccer again huh? again because you scored Absolutely. what 19 goals 19 said? goals I was like wow yeah. I was like I'm back I'm, I'm, I'm back mm-hmm. you know and that probably took like like what you said it's it's hard to go from the first division of this I'm just going to restart it it's probably hard to go from the first division of Portugal like the youth academy to drop down to the, now the fifth division of Portuguese soccer it is it is because and it's like because you, you you don't you have to be you have to humble yourself you know yeah, but this is one of the things that I, I always had for me. Mm-hmm. I'm not a fake humble. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but people say that I'm humble. You know, uh-huh. Sometimes they say, ah, you are too humble. No, I'm humble. It's a part of my my identity, you know? Yeah. And at a certain point, I thought, yeah, that can that can be good for, get good to me, you know? And I went there. I performed. And mm-hmm. next year, I, I moved to another team. I stayed two years. I stayed. So after that year, I went to another team in fourth division. Uh-huh. Uh, and we got promoted to the third division. Uh huh. Third, yeah. T- t- not third division, like third B, that okay. we call Pernas, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, and on that year, I still I didn't play a lot. I was watching a striker. Uh-huh. His name is Bahad. He was older than me, but he was amazing. Yeah. You know, so you, got, you were stuck behind some of his. Yeah, I was stuck, but I was learning, you know. Yeah. I yeah, took yeah. that as a. I was like, no. I cannot play. He's doing good. He's doing good. But I took all of the things that I was watching from him, like the holding ball from him. I never saw someone holding the ball like him. No, now you. I've never seen someone hold the ball like you. Now. No, no, no. Yeah, you say that <laughs> to me now. But yeah. I was watching him, uh-huh. and I thought like, wow, you know. And I was learning. And I sometimes I go to him. I reach him as a older older boy, and I was like, oh, can you say? Oh, can you teach me? And sometimes he teach me, but at that point, sometimes I can't. The ball comes and boom, yeah. boom, boom. Yeah, it was funny. But I perform. I didn't perform a lot the first year with him. Uh-huh. But the second year, we were playing four four two. So I was playing. I was playing side to side. Oh, him. okay. So that's what that was my year. So I I performed good. Mm-hmm. Scored not not that that many goals, and I I moved to another team. There I reached the third division, the second mm-hmm. B division in Portugal. Uh-huh. That is the division where there's a lot of potential. You know, a yeah. lot of potential. Uh, it's a division that, so you can imagine, <coughs> the second B division in Portugal, mm-hmm. uh, they call now Campeonato Portugal. Uh, every year you have like moves of players from that division. They skip the second division, they go to oh, the first wow. division, you know? Wow, so like the top performers will go straight up. Yeah, they, they go straight up to first division, you know? Mm-hmm. They go and it's a huge opportunity for a lot of players to show themselves, show, show the value. Uh-huh. Uh, and yeah, I did good there. I did like five years, five years. Five years in that division? On that division. I was doing good. I moved to the island in the Azores. It's not Portugal continental. It's the island. Oh, okay. I, I went to San Miguel. I think you said Iceland. Iceland. I like, like the, like no, the no, Iceland. No, no, no. I was I like, well, you went to Iceland? No, Iceland. Iceland, yeah. Island. We, island, we just island, say it in English. Yeah. Island. 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 Okay, yeah. island. Um, and... Uh, you say what? Isla? Island? How do you say it? Portuguese. Ilhas. Oh, it's different. How do you say it in Spanish? Islas. Isla. Islas, yeah, Islas, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Islas, Islas, Islas. That's right. Yeah, nice. Spanish is, well, nice. Spanish is rusty. My child loves Spanish, so if you have Spanish, yeah. <laughs> I, love, I love to try to speak Spanish. So you went five years in the in the third division, and then after that you went to a an island. It was an island No, I was, I, was, I was three, let me see, one year. Uh-huh. One year at, uh, in Portugal, second B division. I went to the island. To, to the island, mm-hmm. and after the island, I went back to the continental to Sakovnes. Mm-hmm. I went, I was champion there uh-huh. uh, with a huge team, amazing Sakovnes. Wow. Uh, and after Sakovnes, I thought, well, let me do something. I was at the same time studying. Yeah. So that's why that's why I I went to the island and I came back to to finish my studies, my, my graduation <coughs> uh-huh. university. Um, so people, if you need a special planner, you have me here. Yeah. <laughs> um, and I went back to to Lisbon, Lisbon uh-huh. uh, to Premier de Zembro. I say like the last year, not, not, or two, yeah, two years ago. And I was like, you know, you reach some point and you say, yeah, this is half profession, you know. 
yeah. not real, he's professional. The behaviors, they are all professional, you know, mm -hmm. in the teams, in second B division. But we are not paid as a professional, you know? Mm -hmm. So I was like... Mm. Was it enough to live off of? Like, were you making enough where you could support yourself? Yeah, you could support yourself, you yeah. know? But still, you want always more, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You are, you are teens, you need to, we need to want more and more. And I started working, I was working, I was uh, also at the university, I was playing. So I was doing a lot, all of things. Yeah. So I was like, I have to, these three things, so I need to see, you know? Mm -hmm. I need to see. I was doing good in sports, so that's why I didn't quit. Yeah. Uh, at a certain point I said, no, I have quality. I reached the division, so let me put everything of me, you know? Mm -hmm. And I stopped, I finished my, my studies, I, in the same year as I finished the work, and I was in Premier Zembro, and I got an invitation to go to a team just to focus on soccer. Mm -hmm. And they had the project uh, this year, the, it's this, because the championship starts in August there, Yeah. so they are already going, they are in second position, so my team. I can be champions here in USL and also in Portugal <laughs> in the same in the same year. Uh -huh. So I'm just waiting to see. <laughs> yeah, um, and Villa Frankens invited me to go to go to to go there, and I, I went there. It was a good experience mm -hmm. because it was a strong team. I learned a lot. I learned a lot of things. Uh, it was a real g good year to to improve myself and prove myself that I have the the abilities to to play. In. In a good level. How was it? How was it? Just focusing on soccer at that time versus like instead of having school and studies and everything with that. I think your stamina improved like two hundred percent. Yeah. You have more energy. Um, you don't feel tired, you know, after sessions. Mm -hmm. The because when you are working and studying, I know it's hard. A lot of people do, does that in Europe. A lot yeah. of people. Yeah. Uh, you're not hundred percent focused in the the thing, so. Yeah, you can try to do like the best, but you'll do the best. Yeah. That you think you can, but if you're not fresh, it's not the best because you can do more. You can do more, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, and yeah, it was it was amazing. It was amazing for me, and that's when I got the invitation from Roughnecks because I was scouted uh, at a company, mm -hmm. OPSCM Pro. Uh, Jeff and I was my ex teammate, so it was a process between the Roughnecks and the OPSM uh -huh. to get scouted here to, to US. And they come over here. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah what, what team were you at? Or did you meet or play with Jeff at? Like in I played, so we not, it wasn't Villa Frankens, it wasn't Premier December. Okay. Yeah, it's a, a club that has the international program um, of players with OPSM. Yeah, because uh, OPSM sends a whole bunch of guys. Send a lot of players there to, mm -hmm. to get trials and to reach teams in Portugal. So. Mm -hmm. What was your first... Uh, Impression of Jeff when he came. Jeff, uh, Jeff, amazing. I'm a friendly guy. Jeff, they, Jeff, they know, they know that. They know that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm a friendly guy. Yeah. He was at the locker room. I was one of the big, the the main players of the team, mm -hmm. the, the starters. So Jeff came. Jeff know all the, lo the locker rooms. They are hard in Portugal. Yeah. You guys, you know, <laughs> there is a status. You know, sometimes. Yeah. And I'm not saying I have a status or something like that, but the players that play and they have experience, you can see by the behavior in the locker yeah. room. You know. Yeah. You get into the locker room. That's why the, for the, the best thing you can do is get into the locker room, quiet, <laughs> uh, low profile, you know. Low profile. Yeah. And Jeff was amazing. Yeah, I met him, and it was like friendship at the first time. Yeah, it's not love. Not love. <laughs> hey, Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> but that's good. Like he came in and he just he, he proved himself. He was a good player. Yeah, he proved. He proved. He proved. He was. He was. He, 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 he went. He didn't went there to play because he was. Uh, on road trip there yeah. and scouting players, everything in Europe, because he's a part of uh, of his role in you know, on OPSM. Mm -hmm. He's like he's the main guy also. Yeah, him, Godwin, yeah, amazing, <laughs> amazing. Yeah, um, and yeah, it was like friendship from the from since the the the, the first month. That's awesome. Yeah, Jeff's a good guy. Yeah, he's I, a good guy. I like he's messing with him. Hey, huh? I'll tell you one thing. He was blonde. Oh, you hit blonde yeah, hair? Yeah, you yeah, dyed his hair? Like, like, it's, like, it's like uh, yeah. just a strip? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it, will, it will kill me when you see it. You know, I think I've seen a picture of that. Right? I swear I have. I don't have my phone here, otherwise I'm going to show you the phone. <laughs> um, uh, so, so this is your first year now. Basically, besides when you went to France for the, a few months and Spain for a few months, that you've played outside of Portugal now, right? This is the first time outside of Portugal. Yeah, the first. Yeah. Time. So how how is the 
how is the like the Roughnecks and the play over here compared to uh, Portugal that you were playing at? Oh, like what are the differences? What what's similar? So yeah, I'm impressed with US. Yeah, I'm really impressed. That's good. That's good to hear because it's always hard because it's like we get compared a lot to European soccer. No, because the qual the quality the league well, USL Championship. Mm -hmm. I barely has a lot of. I can take out my head. Yeah. He has quality. A lot of good players. Uh, I've been watching. I've been playing. We've playing. I've been playing with a lot of players, and there's a lot of quality. You know. Yeah. Um, I think I can say similar with the division where I was playing. Mm -hmm. uh, but the thing, the difference, the big difference, and the big difference in the US is the facilities. Oh, the facilities. <sighs> different. It's different. Yeah. It's huge. I think uh, in Portugal, second, even second league teams. Don't have the same facilities as uh, as here in the US. Uh -huh. The USL teams, uh, they can have like international players, everything players that has have played in, uh, in national teams. But the facilities and the conditions, you know, mm -hmm. all of the um, things that can make the player improve. Yeah, uh, US has. You know, mm -hmm. like the gyms and the, and like the, the gym, the the, the trainers, oh. the <coughs> supervision. The coach and the scouting, you know, mm -hmm. is a, a lot of tools to make the player develop himself. So yeah. if you come to USL, you're gonna develop for sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is good. I mean, I, I've gone over a lot, like to different countries, and that's what I've noticed too. It's like the USL really does like they treat you with every all the facilities like really yes, well. Yes, you feel. Yeah. I feel good here. Yeah, I feel good. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I feel like I've been like three months. Yeah, it's been two months, my three first, months. My first three months in the US. But I feel home. I feel home mm -hmm. because the all of the Roughnecks was like amazing for us. They they are doing an amazing job this year. We are playing good. Yeah. Uh, but it's not all. It's because the things we are doing on the field, but the outside of the field that the, the administration is doing mm -hmm. is very good for us, and they. They give us all of the tools to just perform, yeah, and do whatever. What 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 do you what do you like? You know, mm -hmm. like to do. And so you've had a good start now too for the season. So it's like yeah. we're like what nine games in or something. Yeah, nine um, games. What are you, three goals, right? Yeah, three goals, three goals. And uh, do you have any assists? Uh? Assists? No, I don't have assists. Uh, just you did a goal score though. No goal score. <laughs> I'm looking for the goal score. <laughs> yeah. Three and three good goals. Three important goals. Um, I, one of my favorites was the one against Orange County that you just ran by everybody and then chipped it right at the end. Yes, yes, yes. That was yes, a nice yes, one. Yes, yes, was good. Was good. Um, and then... Uh, it was the first. It was, that was the first. I think the, it's a special for me. Yeah, a yeah. special goal. I will always look at the video mm -hmm. saying it's my first official goal. Mm -hmm. Because I, actually, I scored two in the preseason. One yeah. of you, one of them, you, you give me yeah. the assist. Yeah, the cross. Head, uh, yeah. That was a nice header, too. Nice goal. I'll put in my head. I liked for sure. <laughs> yeah, nice header. Yeah, that was that was a nice header. Um, so yeah, so five goals pretty much since we since you've been in America. Yeah, five goals. Counting two in preseason, um, and you've we're in Tulsa. The only problem is we don't have a beach. We're not. It's different than Portugal, huh? Uh, this is the thing I, I've telling. I, I told I told the, I told one of our friends. Mm -hmm. I said the only problem we don't have beach because I'm used to the beach. Yeah. Because in Portugal beach in the island. Of course, it's, beach. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> your beach. Uh, France, uh -huh. the north, close to the beach. Mm -hmm. Spain, south, close to the beach. So, because yeah. you're in Granada, right? Yeah, uh, no, Granada is my sister. I was okay. in Almeria. Okay. So, Spain was beach, so I'm mm -hmm. used to the beach. So, um, but I think I'll get used to. to yeah. yeah. I have a pool. So. Yeah, you have a pool. <laughs> yeah. It's close. <laughs> yeah, my sister. My sister was in Granada. Granada. Yeah, for like a, I think a month or two months. Studying. She, yeah. Uh, no, she wasn't studying. She was uh, doing like a work thing. Like she would go over there just to like be like a nanny, like a baby a babysit. Nanny? Wow. Yeah, just to hang out, to get to experience Spain, speak Spanish. It's good, it's good. It's yeah, good. and then she came back after that. Now she's just a, Spain in Portland. is a good country, yes. Also, yeah, I really like Spain. I've been to Spain, France, Germany, but I haven't been to Portugal yet. Wow. <laughs> but now that I know you, wow. now it's gonna be easy. We have a, we have, we have a website. Visit Portugal.com. So yeah. go I'll, check. I'll you check should go there for sure. I, I want to. I want to go to Portugal. I really uh, want to. Obviously, it's on my list. I want to go. Be, I'll be your, your, your tour tourist, guide. Tour guide. Yeah. Every every place. Um, but that's good. So you're enjoying it here in uh, America. You're yeah. liking it. I'm liking. I like it. America that's good. has been like amazing, amazing to me. Mm -hmm. uh, I think. Uh, honestly, when I accept the invitation from Roughnecks, was. Were you nervous about that? Were you nervous to come over here? I was. I didn't know if I want. I would. 
I was feeling butterflies, you know? Yeah, yeah. I was searching for the, the word. <laughs> I was feeling butterflies. I didn't, you know, because it's a risk, you know? Yeah. A different reality. You have the proposal, you have everything solved, but at the end of the day, I'm moving along, you know? Mm -hmm. I leave my family, so I you leave the people that give you the strength to do everything. Mm -hmm. uh, and I was like, the main thing was like, yeah, my mother, my brothers, uh, my nephews. <coughs> I was thinking, wow, no, I'll go, I'll stay like one year without them. Mm -hmm. uh, it's hard, but when you have dreams and when you have goals, so you target your goals. Uh, I know if I do everything to my goals and I achieve them, they'll be like uh, a part of my success, you know? Mm -hmm. It'll be so, worth it. <coughs> be worth it. So I was like, no, I'll, I'll go. I'll fight for me, I'll fight for them. Mm -hmm. And they should be like uh, uh, incentivation to me to yeah. do better, you know? So every time I get into the field, uh, I thank my family. Yeah. Always, always, always. That's good. Because they give me the strength to to do whatever and they believe yeah in me. my friends my close friends so your friends and family have always supported they've never been like you should quit no they've always supported you a lot of people said told me that yeah probably you should pick and go to school in the school or go get a job mm -hmm. you're, a, you're an intelligent boy you should, you'll get a good job yeah okay but sometimes you, you can't even argue against yeah. against that you know you can't even argue you just say yeah okay you say okay okay you should, you should think like this okay but when you have the dream here, yeah, don't don't leave anyone says that kill your dream, you know. Yeah, because it's like I don't know people. I feel like people if they stop going after their dream, you know, and they stop and they they quit, they want you to quit too, because sometimes. Uh, and then if so, then it's just like okay, yeah, yeah, maybe I'll think about quitting or stopping. But then you know, it's just like you, you, know, you know the thing you said is funny because. When I was working, I was working at the airport. Yeah, yeah. Tell me, the, tell us, tell that story. Ah, the story of the yeah. airport. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Because I, you know, the, the airplane sometimes has delays and everything, and so to see uh, my routines. So I wake up like six. I usually go to the um, to the session. That's I need to be there uh, like eight thirty. I do the entire session, everything, the breakfast and session until twelve. I eat something. Uh huh. Uh, like fast and I go to university like at 2 uh -huh. to 2 p.m. and I say like from 2 p.m. to till 6 6 6 something uh, doing the essays everything mm -hmm. to have everything done at university because yeah. I can't take uh, work to the to the next day because I don't have any time yeah and after that I just eat something it's a fast dinner go to the airport from 8 p.m. till midnight and work yeah and work and if the the airplane is delayed so i need to stay like until two so uh, <coughs> i was during three months sleeping uh, five hours four hours and performing in second b division it was separation completely see that's that's crazy you were balancing literally training every day like from in the mornings mm -hmm. from you waking up at seven going to training doing that immediately eat quick run off to school yeah do that for six hours <laughs> yes eat something quick run off to your job at the airport yeah and work another six hours yes and yes. then you would get a little bit of sleep as you could and then repeat yeah i was taking some naps between sometimes when i don't have school when yeah. they don't have school i take my nap and i go to the job you know because mm. people ask me all the time how i'm in high school how do i balance soccer and school and i'm like you don't even understand you have a very easy schedule compared wow. to other people like compared to you or even anybody it's like because <laughs> yeah. we we've all as pros we've all had probably one period of our time where we've had to balance a job yes, yes, school yes, yes. and soccer yes 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 and it, part it, of life. what's your what's your what was your tip it's just what, what would you say how how did you manage the, your time uh, i think that was the period when i was more organized uh you should be like should have a method to do it you know mm -hmm. you need to know when is the period to rest the period to heat so everything needs to be like perfectly perfectly yeah. organized you don't have time if you skip the the lunch you'll be like already at school so yeah. if you skip the the dinner you'll be already at the mm -hmm. so i was organizing everything my mother was supporting me a lot uh, it's just hard work hard work i just literally running running running, yeah. running. my friends during these three months or four months they they were like message me. We didn't. We can't see you, but yeah. I have my t I have my goals. So I, yeah. I wanted a lot to finish the university, mm -hmm. and I did it because I, I'm a strong guy. And yeah. I said, yeah, 
uh, I will finish, I will finish, I will finish, and I finish. What was your degree in again? Uh, special planner. Special planner. Like urbanism and architecture. Okay. The yeah, mix. Yeah. Uh, city planning and C- stuff like city that. City planning, yeah. yeah. City planning. Okay. So, yeah, wow. it's, it's good. It's good. Uh-huh. Uh, Is that what you want to do after you're done playing soccer? Yes. In, or do you want to do something else? So I have, my, I have my degree. I like it. Yeah. I, after the, after the, the three years of, four years of graduation, I fall in love for the area. Yeah. Uh, but still, I'm into sport, you know. I can't say, yeah, I'll do this after. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'll do this after because I'm, my dream was always soccer. So yeah. I'm into sports. So probably at a certain point I'll be related with soccer and probably, yeah, it will not be my area mm-hmm. I'll be more into sports and be like an uh, entrepreneur yeah like entrepreneur, my, my, yeah. Own, my own company of something mm-hmm. I have my my, my secrets but I'm not saying I'm not saying show you show you don't sell you show I'll show yeah it's yeah. better it's better, it's better. It's better. Some, some things I will hide here uh-huh. uh, but yeah that's it's, good. It's and, good. And what are your what are your goals for the next uh, for for your playing career for the next however many years you want to play? Do you know how many more years you want to play, or is it just I'm just going to keep playing until I stop loving Cristiano it? Cristiano says is 40, yeah. 40 years old. Yeah. And Messi is thinking also the same because Messi and Cristiano they are always always, always in, the in, the, in the same the same yeah. You think until forty? As long as my my body can, uh-huh. I'll play. I'll you play. look good for twenty uh, seven. Yeah, twenty seven. Have you had any serious injuries? Uh, no. Serious now. That's good. That's is, yeah. <laughs> okay, what is it? Ah, that's, that's good. Yeah. Uh-huh. Anyway, so because the, one thing, the advice, the, yeah, also the advice to the people that says, how can I yeah. conciliate your nutrition? It's very important. Mm-hmm. I was doing good. I was equilibrate because of my nutrition. I was taking care of my body. You know, mm-hmm. uh, I had supplements, uh, not uh, the. Proteins, everything. Steroids. Uh, steroids. You know? <laughs> no, 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 good food. You know, healthy food. Yeah. The veggies, the the fruit. Mm. Uh, a lot of water. Yeah. Thank you, my children. You're welcome. You're welcome for the water. A lot of water. <laughs> that's not even my water. That's your own water. Uh, yeah, my water, but it's in no glass. <laughs> this is my glass. Um, yeah, a lot of the nutrition is one of the the, the things that we should. Yeah, no, I agree. So we need to have a equilibration between the nutrition. The, the rest mm-hmm. and the, um, the supplementation. So yeah. if you what, do you, what do you supplement with? Can I say? Yeah, good. Ah, they'll copy for sure. <laughs> but, you know, yeah, it's a good event. So I, every, every morning uh-huh. when I wake up, uh, me and Jeff and I, <laughs> now yeah. I'll say Jeff, now I'll say Jeff and Bob, <laughs> uh, we take uh, vitamin C uh-huh. and magnesium, magnesium to keep the balance. Mm-hmm. And we don't take more things because we have a good nutrition. So mm-hmm. we are very, you get a lot of the vitamins from we are very restricted that we eat the fish with mm-hmm. the veggies the so fruit the so protein because and you mainly uh, uh, like I've seen you guys eat it's, it's like eggs and it's uh, fish and, guys, you and know chicken my children is already inviting himself to go lunch my house <laughs> yeah you know? I came over I came up for an omelet the other day. <laughs> that was a good omelet that was a really good omelet no you, you go you go for sure if you want to come <laughs> no, I gotta make are, are you tra- do you know are you traveling this weekend I don't know I don't know uh, have you seen the check the, the list yeah, I'll seen. see I'll see after I don't have my phone here so because because if you guys don't know Johnny uh, you sprained your ankle last game yes, Just, yes it's yes. not it's not bad oh uh, how did and you train? Did you you didn't do the whole training today though? Yeah, I did. I did uh, also uh, only the um, the warm up and mm-hmm. the the rondos and the, some technical work. How would it feel? I feel good. Yeah, it feels you know, I'm, no a, I'm a tough boy. <laughs> I'm yeah. a tough boy, you know. Yeah. So you think if you tape it up, wrap it up, everything that you can play this weekend? Yeah, well, I can play. I can yeah, play. I can play. I can play. Okay, hopefully. I can play. I'm a tough boy, so yeah. There's some type of thing. and ankle sprains too. It's like you can push through that. Like yeah, because it, it's a lot. Sometimes, so I have a lot of experience. So it's something that happened before. So mm-hmm. I know how to recover fast from yeah. that. Uh, when you are you are young, you don't know. You see, you think ah. Oh, Ankle spring, I'll be like, oh, one month out. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. but now I have the mindset. I'm he- here to fo- to soccer, so to fo- football. Yeah, <laughs> to football. And What's Amer- football? Yeah, football. <laughs> yeah, soccer and football. Soccer I'm so, football. I'm so uh, confused. You need to to answer the people what is better to to use <laughs> soccer. I think I, well, I think football is better. For me, football is better. I think so too. But I, I, I changed that because of the Americans. They, the problem. <laughs> if I say I'm going to go play football. Do you think I'm gonna go play like American football? No, I think yeah. the skill, everything. It's yeah, I yeah, I think I think obviously in 
the soccer world, I could be like, yeah, yeah, let's play football, let's go, and it makes sense. Yeah. But most people think I, I, and if I'm going out in the city, I'm like, yeah, I play football. People are gonna think I play American football. Oh yeah, yeah you know, yeah. with my accent, being yeah, American. Like, yeah, you look like American, real yeah, American guy. <laughs> yeah, the one that I said, <laughs> keep that, keep that, yeah. <laughs> um, so that's awesome. Okay, so that's a uh, that's good. Uh, yeah, that's a cool story. Like honestly. Yeah, 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 there's a lot, there's a lot of things. Like that. <laughs> it's hard. It's hard to say your entire career, your whole story in it's, hour and a half. It's hard. Because, no, it's hard because uh, I, was, I was trying to put the best resume, in, yeah. like to give like a little briefing mm-hmm. about my life. That's good. Uh, um, so and then uh, now I'm gonna ask like a few questions. Yeah, yes, of course, of course. Uh, yes. What do you think? If you wanna stay here two hours, I can stay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I'm enjoying. You're good. I said I don't speak English, but I'm I'm impressed. Dude, I'm, I'm really impressed. <laughs> I'm really impressed. No, I'm, really I'm impressed now. You're impressed with yourself. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's good. Um, so first question is, what was the absolute best part of your career? Like the best moment of your career so far? Best part of my career. Yeah. Mm. I'm living a good moment now, but no, I'll leave this moment to another interview later <laughs> yeah. down the road. So I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll put this this one apart. Uh-huh. Um, but when I was in Sekovnitz, when I traveled back from the island to the mainland, to my to mainland, uh-huh. um, I went to Sekovnitz. Uh, we went to a, a team that everyone was saying oh, you're gonna be relegated, we're gonna be relegated. Uh-huh. So I'm used. To, I like that. I like the. Pro- I like good project, you know. Mm-hmm. You're gonna be relegated, but the coach that uh, that uh, that uh, recruited me to that team was my coach the year before, uh, and this year he was coaching Al Hilal uh-huh. in uh, Saudi Ar- 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 Arabia. Saudi, yeah, Arabia. Saudi Arabia, yeah. And his name is Carlos. He's, they call him Mr. Took. Uh-huh. He's also they call my fa- my father of the of second division because uh, <coughs> a huge coach four four two. I never saw someone doing the 4-4-2 as, as he does. Uh-huh. Uh, and yeah, everyone was saying, you're going to be relegated, you're going to be relegated. Your budget is too low, the lowest the budget of the division, you're going to... Mm-hmm. But when the team believes, the coach believes, everyone believes, at the end of the season, we were champions. Champions? Fighting, for goal, fighting to go to the second division. Wow. Yeah, champions with only five goals conceded. Best, defender, <sighs> best defense of Portugal. Wow. So from from and I was the the, the top scorer. So yeah, yeah, he's old. Uh, yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. That's crazy. From because and then it's like honestly, like even Tulsa, like Roughnecks is a, is a very similar thing. Last year, last place some, in the league. I, I saw some some reports at the yeah. beginning of the season. Reports of projections about how we're going to do this yeah, year. Yeah, and so far, I mean, right now, yeah. obviously, you know, things could change just early on in the season. But second in the league is it's a yeah, lot better than yes. people I like, predicted. I, I like I like I like you know a challenge at some point. It's good when people don't believe uh, yeah. and they challenge you, you know? They say, yeah, you can't. You know? so people said, ah, you, these people said, you can't be professional, you know? Yeah. But I'm professional now, you know? Yeah. I prove myself I can be, you know? They said, yeah, you're going to be last one. No. Okay, you say that. Mm-hmm. This is your point. Yeah. Okay, I respect it. I'll not say anything. I'll not fight against you. Yeah. Put in your head that I'll, after, you're going to have a speech. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> probably I'll not even talk to you, you know? Because... <laughs> I well, can no, because after you, once you do it, then they go, "Oh, I knew you could do it." Ah, they they know, change. They change. Oh, a lot of people say that. Oh, <laughs> yeah. when you when you, when I sent to US. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Was that a big deal, like in your in your uh, like city or your to come over to? It's coach? a good move, you know. Yeah. It's a, it's a big big move because I told you the the players they go from the the Port- Campinas to Portugal mm-hmm. to first division, and I was barely one of. The only players, so one of the only Portuguese that moved to second league in uh, in US. Uh-huh. So there's not a lot of players that uh, play from come from, come from Portugal to yeah. US. Uh, and yeah, it's a huge move. It was yeah. a huge move to the club and to the division because it's good because I open doors to a lot of players that mm-hmm. probably will come pre- after. Yeah. Because if I prove myself here, it'll be like a certificate yeah. of quality there. So exactly. I want to prove myself. Not for them, for me. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. No, because I think you're the first Portuguese player I've played with. Yeah, a yeah. lot of people told me that. I, I've played with 
countless Brazilians. Really? Yeah. But from Portugal, I'm trying to think. I don't know. I'm, I'm probably glad. offending somebody that I've completely forgot yeah, about. Forget the other one. I'm the first. I'm the first. I think you're the first one. I, yeah, it's good. It's I, maybe good. I, yeah, I think I played. I tr- went on trial in Germany with a Portuguese player, but like uh-huh. in America, I think this is the first time. It's nice. It's nice. Yeah. It's nice to hear from me. That's good. Um, okay, so then that was the that was the best moment. From when you ah. were going from relegated to the to the best. My children speak Portuñol. Portuñol. What do you say? Poquinho, poquinho. Yeah. I can say a few things. Yeah. Yo so ma. Yeah. So now you're speaking Portuguese, but you speaking with the accent of Spain. So it's so funny. That's why I say with it's the Port- Spanish. Yeah, yeah. I say it's Portuñol. Yeah. Por- Portuñol. Yeah. You have a. Um, like a word that you say Portuño, like Portuguese and uh, half Spanish. half Portuguese, half Spanish. That's that's what I speak. I combine my knowledge of Spanish yeah, you create with create the language. I create my language. <laughs> yeah, Portuño. Yeah. Um. Yeah, because I say like even even stuff like that. How you say yo? It's not like in Spanish it's yo, but you say eu yo eu yo. I can't even do it. Do it. Do this eu yo eu. That was better. Yo yeah yo 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 so yo so. No, you say Spanish. It's Portuñol. It's Portuñol. Portuñol. It's, it's, it's also a good language, you know? Portuñol, yeah. yeah. I bet there's some people that like When a Portuguese that. is speaking with the Spanish, uh-huh. and the, they don't know how to speak Sp- Spanish, the Spanish don't know how to speak Portuguese, and the Portuguese don't know how to speak Spanish, they speak Portuñol. Portuguese. It's similar, you know? They, yeah. fight, they fight with the word. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, like yeah. you. That's what I'm doing. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Um, <laughs> all right, so that was, the, that was the best moment of your of your career. When, yeah, it was. When, uh, but what was, the, what was the absolute lowest period of uh-huh. your career that you felt like you were just like the worst. The worst. Mm. Yeah, the worst, I think. It was when I thought I was going to quit. Uh, 18? 18? 19. Yeah, I already turned 19 because okay. I'm from February. Oh, so yeah. At the end of the season, I'm already 19. Mm. 19, I was thinking, oh, I'll quit. Because that's in, in Europe. It's if, hard. You, if you don't go pro by 18, most people quit. Say, either say to quit or yeah. they do quit. They they quit they quit because yeah. they don't have other other opportunities and you know it's hard because you have a lot of the the equipment the facilities to to do good mm-hmm. during the the youth and when you reach eighteen you don't have that the opportunity but now in Portugal they create one thing that is amazing uh, for me I'm proud to see that in Portugal uh-huh. because uh, my my cousin is playing there that league so now after the eighteen. They have a good, a good under twenty three championship. Okay. That is a huge support, you know, mm-hmm. to the to the players. So, so now that the players they're just not ready to go pro, they can go. Pro, they can go pro also because that division is pro. Oh, okay. Cool. So it's good. It's a huge opportunity to the players to keep because I noticed from my nineteen to my twenty two. I develop a lot. Yeah, yeah. This yeah. is a huge period, you know. Yeah. Now I, I'm still developing. <coughs> Every year I'm I'm trying to get better in everything. I'm mm-hmm. more experienced. The, I live a lot of situations, uh, but this is a period when the kids is improved. So inv- the clubs invest a lot in the player until the 18. Yeah. And after that they just okay they they pick the best three, mm-hmm. and there is some that goes and. They just start working, you know, because life life goes on. Eh? Life yeah, goes yeah, on. Yeah. You need to work or you need to study. You know, need to do something. You know, and yeah, and I'm proud to see that in Portugal it is happening. The mm-hmm. they call the Revelation League. Revelation League. Yeah, Revelation League, and yeah, it's good. That's so, yeah, that's really good. Cause uh, cause that's one thing. Like even in America, it's like it's good and bad with college. You know, cause we have college soccer that most players do. But it's good the the, the college soccer. I don't I don't know I don't know I actually don't know the the format of the mm-hmm. division. It's, I think it's a good idea because you can like it's like with those kids that's like oh yeah if you're young sixteen and you know Alfonso Davies like amazing mm-hmm. okay yeah go play pro like at 16, 17, 18, go play pro but like for me like at like eighteen years old I wasn't ready to become a pro. I can go to college and then go study and play at a very high level. Like the facilities at D1 college are better than here. Like it's a really, really good facilities. Wow. Really amazing wow. stuff, I've especially seen, at the top schools, Oregon State, I've seen, stuff I've like seen that. that. I used to see like some shows. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, the it's amazing. The facilities are amazing here in the US. It's amazing. But when I say amazing, people believe it. It's yeah. amazing. It's different. If you are in Europe watching this, just... So if you are in Portugal, let me just give you an example. Um, not the facilities of Benfica, Porto, and Sporting, but you can compare with the second teams that play for Europe League, mm-hmm. like Braga. Uh, the facilities are similar. Good facilities here in the US. Amazing. Yeah. 
And, like, the only problem I have with college soccer is that our season is three months. Three months? Yeah, that's it. That's the bad part about college oh, we soccer. Have two months. No, we have because one. I think if for it to be better, they should play nine month seasons, you know? It's the, Why not? It's like, that's month. how it should. Because it's like they take the, like, the American football approach where it's like, oh, you can only play for three months long. Really? But, like, if, if college soccer goes into a full nine month season, and then you can study, you can you can play soccer, you can play for nine months against teams, it'd be amazing. Okay. But that's the only problem, because then you only play, like, 15 games a year. And then you have, like, winter season uh, and spring season, but, uh, like... It's nothing, because sometimes you reach the your toppest uh, shape, like, with 10 games. Yeah, exactly. Seven games, you know. Right, like, when you get into the swing of it. Seven, seven games, yeah. you already yeah. reach the 15, and yeah, it's done. Yeah. yeah it's been, um, it's been. But, yeah, that's the only thing. But, uh, but yeah, that's what... But it's good, because then it, it aged... 20 if you're playing college soccer like we, I, I've known pros in America that don't sign their first contract until 25 but like it's, it's normal you know it's normal here yeah it, well it's like more normal to sign pro, your first pro contract in your 20s you know versus really? in Europe yeah oh in Europe it's like very hard it's, yeah. it's like no it's very aggressive the market some kids 16, 17, mm -hmm. 18 they, they sign some prospect contracts yeah you know and at the age of 19 yeah it's very aggressive but the thing is Europe is the is a continent of the, the of, of football, so yeah, yeah. it's very aggressive. Everyone dreams. Every kid that walks on the streets since young, they they dream with be a soccer player. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it's, there's so many. You see my my, my vibration, soccer play football. Oh, okay. <laughs> America is changing. Me. You're it's becoming changing. American. Yeah, I'm becoming American now. Okay, yeah. <laughs> for better, for worse. Um, yeah. <laughs> all right, then my last question for you: If you could go back to Janu when he was 17, 18, 19 years old. What, what advice would you have for him? Wow. <laughs> wow, you did a good question. Good question. Good question. <laughs> yeah, a good question. So the advice that I'll give him probably uh, to enjoy more the things, you know? Mm -hmm. Because you're just playing, just playing, playing, yeah. So you target, ah, next year I want to be in the under 18 and 17, everything. Yeah. Just looking, you're always looking forward, 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 forward. And probably you're doing good, everything, but you're not enjoying the moment, you know? Yeah. Now, every game I get into, every moment, every day of my life, I enjoy the things. I try to, every day that I wake up, be grateful. I, be, I'm grateful to God because yeah. I always put God. Uh, first to do anything I do uh, and enjoy the moment yeah don't don't think always forward 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 is important to yeah think forward to make a, uh, set the goals everything but you can set the goal but if you don't work daily 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 and enjoy the moment mm -hmm. achieve the experience everything uh, yeah that's that's what matters yeah the experience no. that you can take can take from everything so this is the advice i'll give to janu <laughs> to janu i think that's a real i think that's really really good advice because yeah. i i've been in that where you're so focused on like okay how am i going to get to the next level how am i going to get become yes, a pro yes. how am i going to do this that you don't really focus on like look i'm like in college i did that a lot like my senior year my last year of college uh -huh. soccer I was so focused on leaving and going to the next step, really? I didn't enjoy that season, that year as much so as see, I should have. You're just looking at yeah. looking forward, looking forward. Yeah. yeah. And even now, like to right now, I do the same thing. It's like obviously I'm injured or like I've been injured in the past, and like that's helped me even now. Like okay, when I'm playing, when I'm in games, I really enjoy those games, you know, because they're so important. It's like I'm enjoying the moment now because I know, like, especially being 26, like. If we have ten more years of playing soccer, that's amazing. Wow, you know, that's amazing. so it's like it's it's starting to wind down. So it's you enjoy it more and more and more. Yeah, I'm enjoying. I'm enjoying. I'm yeah. enjoying every moment, every every game I go, every se even sessions. Yeah, you yeah. know, because you can you can be tired and you don't want to do it sometimes. You, you know, even sessions. You know, sometimes you're a kid. Oh, I'm tired. Of that. Yeah. Session again. No, even the session. I enjoy the session. You know, so yeah. it's good. Uh, this is some. This is things that we lo you learn with time. So. I'm enjoying everything, and uh, mm -hmm. I have my word that I put in myself, and people know my text. <laughs> I always say, like, stay strong. Mm -hmm. uh, stay strong is, uh, is my word. It's your phrase? Phrase. In, my, in Portuguese? My, no, no, in English. In English? Stay strong, I say, like, it's my hashtag. Yeah, every hashtag. photo, everything I do, <laughs> I say, stay strong. People, yeah. some friends, they joke with me, they say, <laughs> stay strong. But it's a, a word that I find, find for, 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 I found for myself. Uh-huh. Uh, that is important and I always think like 
today it was bad, but tomorrow I'll stay. Today I'll stay strong to fight for tomorrow. So I like it. Yeah. So that's good. It's and something. then, uh, you have anything that you want to say to anybody? To anything? I mean, now's your chance to, to say anything. Mm, well, nice moment for me. <laughs> <laughs> nice moment. No, yeah. thank you. Thank you, Michelle. So the thing I have to say to people is don't 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 ever try to quit from your dreams and don't let anyone say it's like you're not capable to 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 reach where you where you target to yourself. Uh, at the end of the day, we are the the ones who target where you want and the, the ones who were the responsible responsible for our chains and our goals so don't let ever ever anyone say you're not capable stay strong I like it stay strong yeah. you don't say thing in uh, Portuguese uh, mantente forte <laughs> mantente forte mantente firme mantente forte no mantém 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 mantente forte mantente forte you look, like, you look like a British now. <laughs> now you're not American. <laughs> you look like uh, a British. Yeah. Portuguese is hard. It's yeah, hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the, you know, people, 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 uh, the the foreign people when they go to Portugal, they say like we speak like yeah. the way it sounds. But I can't even. It's yeah. When you talk to like Hanan or Rodrigo, it's just like it's so like and it's, and it's different the, different the way we talk yeah, my yeah. pronunciation is different from Brazilian yeah because I, I can even I mean I obviously not I don't speak Portuguese but I can hear the difference of how you say and sound versus how the Brazilian sound yes it is it is different I can't like say the difference of it but I can hear it, it you know Portuguese are more, are more like conservative talking uh -huh. And the Brazilians they sing a little bit more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You like, like, you like this, you know? Oh, the pop of the house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The they put like some, some, some music in, yeah, the, in the words, yeah, yeah. you know? It's different, it's different. <laughs> but it's funny, it's funny, it's funny. I can do, I can I can speak both, you know? Uh -huh. To put like some, sometimes when, the, when I'm joking, I make some Brazilian <laughs> words to, to Renan and Rodrigo. Yeah. And uh, Luca, they're amazing. amazing yeah. Amazing people. Yeah, but it's nice to have some people that can speak Portuguese on the team, too. Yeah, it was nice. You know, at the beginning, I didn't know they, are, they, they, were, they were Brazilian. Yeah. I only know that. Renan was Brazilian, but I didn't know Luca because Luca was speaking English to me. This is one thing I want to say to you. <laughs> really, Luca? Luca was speaking English. The first two weeks, I knew that Renan was Brazilian, mm -hmm. and you know, we're trying to meet each other, but I didn't look at the nationalities. Yeah. In I didn't look at the the roots. and Luca was talking English to me. Yeah. I, I didn't know this. I was like, and and did you did you notice that his English wasn't very good though? No, because we did, the first week you don't talk too much, you know. The yeah, session you yeah, go yeah. focus and uh, prove yourself. It's the press season; everyone is tired. Uh -huh. You don't have time to talk. Because yeah, it's the like hey, the fitness. Just, <laughs> you just, yeah. hey, hey, how are you? Good. Yeah. Yeah. Good, good, good. <laughs> but when I start like watching like Renan, Luca, and Rodrigo, they they speak Portuguese to me, <laughs> and, I, and I was saying, "Hey, Rodrigo, look at Luca. He's talking English to me." <laughs> yes. It's a funny thing. That's so funny. <laughs> so, funny. so you guys, so just to give you like some context to know this, so we have four people on the team that can speak Portuguese. Johnny is from Portugal. We have three Brazilians. One of the guys, Luca, yeah. who, who's I'd say is probably has the worst English out of everybody. The top scorer of USL. The top scorer, but the worst English. He speaks Portuguese. <laughs> kill <you>. And Luca, <laughs> no, his his English is good. Now. <laughs> Luca will kill you after this. Yeah, I know he will. But Luca, Luca, and Johnny didn't know that they each spoke Portuguese yeah. until two weeks. Probably Colo knows, but he was talking English. They were speaking English to <laughs> each other. And it's funny. that's funny. <laughs> it's funny. That's really funny. But have you felt like your English has improved already like in three months? Yes, yes, yes. Do you because understand like a the lot? The thing more? is, I uh, in Portugal, in Portugal, they don't they don't translate the movies. They only put the subtitles. Oh yeah. yeah. So yeah. that's why the Portuguese people they speak a lot of English. I see. So they learn, they hear, they hear, and they they read the subtitles. So mm -hmm. that improve. And since the age of ten, we start learning Portuguese, learning learning English. Uh -huh. And I think now, at school, at young ages, like f six, at the age of six. Uh -huh. So the next gener generation of Portugal. Even better. They'll be even better than uh -huh. me, you know. Even my, my my nephew, age of seven, is speaking English with me. Really? He was speaking English. He was saying, stay strong. <laughs> the, 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 the FaceTime, yeah. stay strong. Yeah. That's funny. That's funny. That's, funny. That's, That's really funny. cool. All right. Well, uh, anything else? Anything else? Uh, All everything. good. I hope you enjoyed the moment. Yeah. I enjoyed a lot, so it was good. I was nervous. Yeah, you were nervous. See, it was not bad, right? It's yeah, easy. look, I didn't finish my water, so I'm not, I'm not nervous now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying. It's a conversation. That's what I want it to be. Yeah, it's good. It's good. Yeah, that's yeah, good, yeah. though. Um, all of Johnny's links, Instagram. Do you have a Twitter? 
No, I have Instagram. Just Instagram? And Facebook. Yeah. Instagram, Facebook. So I'll put, I'll put them in the description. Go follow Johnny. Go check him out. Um, but yeah, this is another episode of the Against All Odds podcast. Thanks for coming out, guys. Thanks for watching. Yeah.